So hello everybody. So today we'll be taking a second look at this uh, Milamai 24D Hind helicopter. This is a kit from Ravel. It's already built. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I really like this helicopter. So here's the instruction sheet. Normal old Ravel. See I always put notes in there about uh, what colors I use so if I have to redo it then I, have it. I know what I need. And this is the old one. It has parts lists and stuff in it, which is really cool. So here you can see we start with the cockpit. Um, it's like most is already in there. The seats and everything. You have two sticks here. The two side sticks here. Um, and instrument panel. And here we have a couple figures. And the other one. The other um, side stick here. And here we uh, building the the cannon. And here we install the cannon onto the uh, internal piece here. And here we start working on the fuselage. You have the uh, front landing gear bay goes in. And here's the doors for the cargo area. Here we put the cockpit in. And here we're building the seats for the inside. And building the cargo area or the troop area. You have the front and back walls, the floor and the roof and the seats. And you put that inside. Here we're building the engines. I remember there was a lot of flash around here. I had to clean up a lot. Number three, building the rotor, the main rotor, and putting that in. Here we have the other troop door, um, some detail parts for the inside and the, the windows here. Here we have the part of the cockpit here, the dashboard type thing. And here we have the, the tail rotor. And putting the fus fuselage together. Here we're putting this cover onto the uh, main landing gear bay. Here's the intakes. Instrument panel for the front. Have some fans that go in there into the canopy. Put the canopy on. I always save that for last. Everything's painted and sprayed thing. Here are the covers for the intakes. Putting that on. Some of the instruments. Also the pod here that goes on the bottom. These uh, instruction sheet is pretty simplified. Small in small steps. Here we're doing the front landing gear. The main landing gear, the wheels, and the landing gear bay doors. Here number seven, we're starting to build the munitions. Here we have uh, one of the rocket pods, uh, the wings, putting the rockets onto the wings, putting the wings on here. Also have an option to build these missiles. I think they're AT4s or maybe AT5s. I, I looked before, I can't remember anymore. And there's also these rockets you can put on it. And then you have your option here to put the missiles or the rockets onto the to the wing tips here. So we here we have the uh, an open door for the cargo area, the troop area. We have some more instruments here, uh, like a light here, and some detail part, windshield wipers. Here is to position the cockpit door open and the canopy here open. So here we have the uh, <clears throat> the tail skid, the stabilizers in the back couple antennas, putting the rotors and the rotor cap on, 
refueling probe in these, uh, there's a step in these, uh, these instruments here. Now we're finished with the build. I have a couple options here on this kit. This is a, a Hind from the Polish Air Force. And this is a, a, a Hind from East Germany, which, which is the one I built. And here it just shows the common camouflage patterns with the colors and everything. And so here's the finished kit. I think the I think the colors turned out pretty good. I used uh, on the bottom I used Model Master Duck Egg Blue, and the colors on the body are also Model Master. It's Field Drab and uh, Armor Sand. Unfortunately, it's hard to find these colors anymore because Model Master is they change companies and a lot of their selection is gone, which is really crappy in my opinion. Now you see I made the, I didn't open up the canopy. I made it closed. You see there's some fit problems here along this door. I did make the cargo bay open. I opted for these AT uh, missiles. I've had this kit quite a while already. Probably built it about 10 years ago or so. And it's holding up pretty good. Even the decals are holding up good too. I think the the interior was okay. It could probably use a little bit more detail in there. You probably can't see it too much. And it's probably a bit dusty too. But you can't really see inside. I usually opt to make the canopies closed so when there's missing detail it's not really that noticeable if you open the canopy then it's much more noticeable when there's stuff missing. You can see the blades here. The propeller does rotate. I remember when I was in Iraq, we found one of these rocket pods. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Um, I had to do a lot of cleaning up around these exhausts here. And you see, I didn't put the covers on it. I made a... like that, you know. But I think it turned out pretty good. I really like this helicopter. I also have a, K, a KA-50 Hokum to build. And I wanted a... Uh, who was it? Some company that went broke. We were supposed to make an MI-28. And uh, it never came. I really wanted that one. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And in my next video, we'll take a look at this Flat Panzer E-100 from Amusing Hobbies. Um, I'm not really all that into prototypes and stuff. I do have a couple. I have the uh, the mouse, which was actually, you know, they actually built built a couple of them. And I have that uh, the Japanese one, the Type Five, also was not used. And this was never really built or anything. It was just a design they had. But I think it's really awesome. <laughs> I mean, they were the enemy, but that is just look at. It's cool. So I was like, I'm going to get that. And uh, we'll take a look at this next time. So thanks for watching. And please like and subscribe.